Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, welcome to the Three Lotus Tarot. Today, just as I promised, I'm going to give you a reading about what to expect in January 2024, alright? So, we have a different style going on here. I'll let you know I did this reading once before and it didn't record audio at all, so I was very, very... I uh, like oh upset about it but anyway let's do it again let's see what messages come through okay so we've got pal one with the uh, after tarot pal one with the orange and black treasure pot and your card is star wow that's a great start right top pal two is the everyday witch deck with the purple treasure pot and your card is the tower part three is the golden wheel tarot with the green treasure pot and your card is the eight of wands okay so have a think about it and we're going to check out what's coming around you in january what might be predictions for january um because it is now 12th of uh, january we're going to maybe um extend the 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 reading to like perhaps about six weeks so you have a little bit more knowledge about what's going on beyond just january and once you have your um cards chosen or your pots chosen pile one pile two or pile three go ahead and get to your reading in the description box below i'll see you there guys hi guys pile one you chose the orange treasure pot and the star from the after tarot so when i look at the star um, this is of course a great card for like your wish being fulfilled after something that's happened after um maybe like you know things changing things being refreshed around you and then you're going to have that chance to rebuild to start again and start off on an even keel right because we have um the lady whose leg is on one leg on ground one foot in the water and uh, she's being able to alchemize um the different waters the different um, solutions that may be available to her in order to get what she really really wants or what she or he really wants right and um, i do find myself being really pulled to this uh, big bright torch here and it's telling me that pal one you will know what to do somehow you will know what to do and what you want to do and that's what's going to help you get on your way so perhaps you might have had like you know some things happen some uh, juggling of the events or situations or even people around you in your life but now as you go on into the new year as you go on into january february you're going to be able and you're going to find yourself being able to just kind of okay you know this has changed but i know that you know i want to do this okay that has changed and that's really for the better because i wanted to do this i wanted to try that so you're just going to be able to see your way through without much i would say without much difficulty without much um hemming and hawing and trying to um get well, you won't get stressed out about the changes that are happening. You won't get really stressed out about, oh my gosh, what do I do now? No. So you seem to be able to fall into the rhythm quite nicely. You seem to be able to get on with it and make the necessary changes that in the end do turn up to be very good for you because the star is that card of wish fulfillment, right? Okay, if you hear my voice sounds a bit funny, um, I am using the microphone 
today but also i'm not feeling very well so then um you might hear some differences in my voice okay so i've already got these cards out for you i didn't look at them when they came out and then i've got a sacred self-care oracle card for you as well which we'll put off to the side as we see what cards came out for you so you have the king of chalices yes absolutely like similar to what i said earlier right you'll just you'll be able to handle it you won't get all stressed out all emotional or it won't be a difficult situation for you to be able to think and figure out or realize what you want to do next okay so guys usually i don't use the holographic cards very much if you follow the channel because sometimes it's difficult to see but i'll try to hold the cups up uh, the cards up for you a little bit longer so you can see okay so we've got the seven of wands yeah a lot of um a lot of cards came out for you we've got the devil two of cups wow perfect the sun the sun and the star best of a lot of worlds and two of swords yep i can see it ten of pentacles wonderful cards wonderful cards the hierophant oh these came out the hierophant The Fool and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, so you'll see because the star, you know, comes after the tower card in the deck. So that's why there's usually that connotation of like when everything falls down, then you have this chance to rebuild and rebuild it the one way that you want it to. So don't worry about the tower. You don't have the tower. I'm not talking. I'm just telling you about the, the order of the cards in the deck. But I can see here, you know, um, that um, you're going to be very mature you're going to be wise balanced on an even keel like i mentioned with um the star having one foot in on land one foot in water you'll be able to make the decisions that you need to make okay things that are different now um you're going to be able to make the decisions quite clearly quite emotionally balanced you don't like i said get uh, um, flustered or confused or upset you'll be able to choose something that you really like okay and there may even be somebody out there who's going to be helping you or you're going to have a new start um if it's people who's leaving your life um then you know like perhaps they've served their time with you in that sense right so um for your greater good maybe it's a new person or a new presence that's going to be coming in into your life so we could see that happening for you too okay um the the fool is here heralding that new start even even after things have been um like I said, falling down around you, things have been changing. And of course, when things change, you do get into a like, whoa, okay. You know, even if you know what you want to do next, even if you know how to do it, how you want to do what you want to do next, there's still that moment of <gasps> surprise, right? Um, but I don't think you'll be going very, very deeply into anxiety. You won't be going deeply into sleepless nights. And even if you have those brainstorming sessions with yourself, the thoughts, uh, the time of reflection, the time of thought for yourself, you're going to be able to, you're not going to be like just sitting up in bed and lamenting and being upset and being confused um, and at a at a roadblock for many many nights okay you're just going to be like thinking about it and then you're going to know what you want to do and you're going to be able to have that new start okay because we do see that decisions need to be made but you will make them like i said with um the the wisdom the maturity of a king of cups 
okay it, it you will get some emotions i mean of course good emotions um not so positive emotions or emotions that get you into a tizzy they're all emotions right but the king of emotions the king of cups sorry not the king of emotions the king of cups tells you that you're going to be able to see this through with that um with that state where you probably feel pretty confident of yourself where you feel that okay i know that you know this is what i deserve and you believe in yourself and you have conviction you have the commitment to get things done and you'll be happy okay so the king of cups does herald a great um wonderful um emotional state for you as you navigate the the changes and then i am not so uh, this is not lost on me we've got the hierophant in conjunction with the devil okay so perhaps things were not the best way they could have been in the past and that is why thing you now have a chance you now have a chance to do what is better for you what is for your higher good okay the hierophant is symbolic of like a teacher a guru um established um organizations you know religion so but it also could be for you when i see this card you know you might have had the the influences that um were of a baser kind were of a shadowy kind and then now perhaps this is the chance that you have come to realize yourself or this is the chance that has been brought about for you so that you can then choose um, a way that is better for your higher self a way that is uh, more deserving um, of the kind of person that you want to be all right so stand strong stand strong see you're fighting against the devil the baser the baser instincts or addiction or you know just things that are really not for your better health not for your emotional um stability not for perhaps even like things like if you're eating too much you're binging all the time or you're drinking a lot even things that are not good for your physical state right so stand strong and fight against that and make the new decision that you have to make right and then you will feel like you're born anew right because we see this little sun cherub here and he's sitting here all not in any garb at all so he's fresh he's pure he's innocent he's ready to face the world he's ready to let all of sunshine and warmth and life shine on him because he has nothing to hide he has nothing to be afraid of he has nothing to fear right and i do see that beautiful beautiful ten of pentacles for you as well so in january and going into february as well pal one i see that you'll be making some changes i see that these changes you'll be able to make with a clear head you'll be able to make with a stable emotional base for yourself and these are changes that are going to help you move from a uh, um activities habits a lifestyle which may have been more shadowy to a lifestyle or habits or activities that are just uh for your higher good that support your higher good and support your development as you go on the way uh on the journey of becoming you know power one 2.0 right so there is that new start for you you're going to start new things and you'll be very very happy it will be like your wishes have come true and there is that it's i believe that these changes that you'll be making you're going to see them as long term changes you'll be able like you know many years down the line you'll be able to look back and see that hey you know some of the changes that i made at that time january 2024 february 2024 i'm still doing them to this day because the 10 of pentacles is about longevity it's about 
legacy it is about having everything come together right and lots and lots of prosperity and abundance as well so actually abundance for for a lot of things in your 3d world because pentacles is about your 3d world right so i do think that you'll be making great changes lasting changes in your life this year this january february 2024 pile one so i'm really excited for you Okay, so now we're going to get the Sacred Self-Care Oracle card and see what it says for you. Dream journal. Yeah. So if there are certain things that you want to do on a more spiritual level, or if you want to create like a visualization board for yourself, you might uh, go this way with the dream journal. Okay, you can either journal down what you see happening for yourself, what you want. Um, and, and, and talk about it, journal it as if you're already in that state, in that uh, physical state, in that mental state, in that emotional state, in that spiritual state, okay? Because that's how the law of attraction works. And then uh, on top of that, if you'd like to, to see if your dreams are telling you anything new, perhaps now your guides are telling you, hey, we've got some stuff. We've got some stuff we want to tell you and it's going to come through in your dreams. It could be your ancestors as well or your spirit guides, people who are looking after you. And perhaps that's why you've got the Hierophant here as well. So your dreams might have hidden messages or hidden clues um, pertaining to your life and how you might want to uh, live it for your greatest good. So if you have dreams, keep a dream journal on your on your side table and then uh, jot them down and see if you can get some more insights or some more um, thoughts about how you want to progress and develop on this journey of yours okay so power one that was your january february 2024 um predictions readings insights i hope that you'll know you'll be able to use it to your best advantage power one if you've liked the video please give me a thumbs up comment share subscribe to the three lotus tarot happy new year and i will see you in the next one bye hello pato welcome to your reading you chose the purple treasure pot and the tower and i love this tower from the everyday witch deck because whenever i look at this tower it gives me the impression that you made that fall down you brought about the the breaking down of past or all um established routines situation people in your life and you chose to do it because look at her right it's like she used her wand and her spells to break the tower down and now she's like yeah look what i did and then now i've got new things to do okay so i i I have a good feeling about this tower because it really makes me feel as if you are in control, pal two. This is not something that uh, shocked you. This may have been something that you already did earlier than January or February 2024, or it could be something that you're going to be doing soon or you're making up your mind to do, pal two, right? So it can be it can be that you have already done it at the end of last year and you know what i'm here to tell you that your spirit guides are telling you you can continue if you've done this already you can continue to feel um confident about it if you have been second guessing yourself if you've already done this if you've been second guessing yourself don't because this is truly giving me the visual and the feeling of the fact that hey you know you you did this you chose to do it you knew that it was something that you wanted to do that you needed to do and then you made it happen so there is no need to second guess it and rethink it okay um so part two i also got these cards for you i shuffled out these cards for you for the energies that will be surrounding you in february january and february 2024 
okay i don't know what the cards are yet and we also have a sacred self-care oracle card which i will put here first if you think i sound funny yeah i've not been um, i've not been i'm not well still <laughs> I guess I should say. Okay, so what do we have here? We've got a lot of cards. You've got the Four of Swords. Let me put this a different way. Let me put it here. And then I want to be able to uh, put your cards across here. Okay, so the Tower is your protagonist card. We've got the Four of Swords. Hmm. We've got the Page of Swords, the Knight of Swords. You see, you have been doing stuff, Part 2. You have been doing stuff. You had clarity, you had truth come out for you, and then you had a clear vision of what you want to do, where you want the road to go, and then you have implemented and executed, or you will be very, very soon. Yeah, you took time to think about it. Or there was a time when you let things happen for a long time and you didn't do anything about it. But then, hey, you know, from the Page of Swords to the Knight of Swords, you've graduated to, you had the thought process, you understood the facts of what was happening, the truth was there. And then you went ahead and used what truth and fact you had to make that decision and implement the decision that you are going to make. So that's why I say the tower has already happened or is going to happen, brought about by you. Okay, Seven of Swords. I get the feeling that this was something that you yourself never thought that you would do. You yourself didn't know that you could do it or that you would do it. But you have now. Okay. All right. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. Um, temperance. The Two of Wands. Ooh. Um, the Eight of Swords. The Three of Pentacles. Okay, let me move this up a little bit. Three of Pentacles. Justice. The Ace of Swords. And the Two of Swords. Okay, so let me move this a little bit down first because I want to tell you the story that I see your cards telling me. Okay, so like I explained that first row for you. So now, you know, you have already done it or you are, you have made that decision to do it. You didn't think that you could or that you would. Amazing how your first row talks to us about the past or like, you know, what has happened. Like you've made that decision already. And this second row now tells us with the tower, with the tower, I see these things going on for you. And I don't want to um, um, pick it up because I, 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 can you see it like this? You've got the queen of pentacles. You've got the ten of pentacles. Your life now is going to be, you know, you're able to build the life that you want after you brought the tower about. You're going to be able to build the life that you want and put yourself at the center of it and and and. Put in place exactly what you want. Look at this Queen of Pentacles here with her hairdo and her, her dress, right? That's the same person who is here, right? Her hairdo, her dress. It's just that she's not wearing that green cape anymore, right? So you are putting yourself first. Perhaps that you felt that in the past you 
always had to take a back seat or you always had to do things and think about uh, other people, prioritize other people. But now you're able to put yourself front and center and take good care of yourself. And you have that lushness of, and beautiful nature scene around you, friends around you, your familiars, you know, people who help you, people who are good to you, people who uh, bring value to your life or you've got like that chest full of coins money right so but at the same time we're not saying that you're forgetting everybody else in your life just because you put yourself first you know we're not talking about that kind of arrogant selfish um stance you know you but you're because you're able to um um prioritize yourself as well because you love yourself as well then you know everything falls together everything fits in that puzzle that you have as your life everything has a place you know how to take care of yourself but you also know how to take care of your the people around you the homestead the whatever that is your life okay because the pentacles signify your 3d world your material world your life all right so that's beautiful after the tower this is what you'll be able to do you'll be you'll be balanced with the temperance look at that you'll be balanced life is on an even keel and i love this cheeky cheeky one eye open thing because you still have that, uh, that 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 zest for life. You're not just hum forever and ever. Uh, you you still have that cheeky zest for life. That um that 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 feeling that wow okay let me try that out. I want to try that out. But in general, you're very pleased with your life. You're at at um, at a comfortable place. At an uh, um balanced place in your life and you're able to then with the two of wands decide what you want to do next the world is your oyster you have everything in your hands you can decide what you want to do perhaps too you know um i i just had this thought come into my head perhaps for some of you it is a time of the empty nest like when your kids leave the house and you like at a loss like what do i do now i spent all my uh, a big part of my life as their father as their mother as you know uh, their guardian and then now what do i do so you you're able to then still build that new life for yourself the new habits the new routines how you want it to be everything is in your hands you stand at the turret and you look out over the whole white world and it's green and look at that beautiful night sky right with all the stars twinkling away you you have a beautiful um, opportunity to put new things together so we have the eight of swords here and the eight of swords in conjunction with the seven of swords it may like i said earlier it may make you feel that i never knew i could do this i never knew that i would do this i didn't know i had it in me i didn't know i had the courage i didn't know i had the motivation i didn't know i had the skills i didn't know i had the imagination to be able to do it this may be uh some of your thought process or some of you too may be feeling a little bit trapped like maybe you don't really know how to unleash the creativity and the 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 inspiration within you yet and you're feeling kind of trapped okay but today you're here at this reading and your spirit guides and your angels are telling you that don't be afraid don't be afraid once you bring down the old which now does not work for you anymore which now does not have a place in your life anymore you'll be able to build like you know don't worry about it you will know how to build you will know how to build a beautiful life for yourself that you're happy with that you're comfortable with and that you are that you can feel at peace with at ease with okay so now we also have these cards down here at the bottom. The Three of Pentacles, Justice, the Ace of Swords, and the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords tells me, you see, there is a decision that you have to make. In conjunction with the Eight of Swords, the Two of Swords, there is a decision that you have to make. But I see that you will know how to make this decision. 
because the ace of swords you will have that clarity also like what i spoke about earlier you may just be taking a little bit more time um to figure it out but figure it out you will okay that there, there is a clarity that is coming to you there is truth that is communication that will come to you and you will know what to do next and look whilst you're blindfolded here trying to throw the knife at the target board look you've already thrown one and you hit the bullseye even while blindfolded so you must have faith in yourself you must have faith in your capabilities have um, confidence in yourself and commit to what you think you want to do okay um, these thoughts that are coming to you might be hints and tips and ideas from your spirit guides from your angels from your ancestors people who walk with you and guide you on your way so don't uh, push them aside really sit down perhaps and think about it hmm you know this thought came into my head or hey this friend has come along and offered um to join a new gym with me or or there is a promotion a campaign that that like where i can learn how to a horse ride for half the price you know don't uh, brush these aside as like i could never ride a horse oh my gosh where am i gonna find the money to like go learn horse riding no so these could be take a look at it more deeply these could be things that you could do that starts you off on that new life because that old one doesn't serve you anymore it's past its time okay so i do see the three of pentacles here which is collaboration which is friends that's why i did mention that you might have friends who will come and tell you about things friends who will come and share little tidbits of information with you so that you feel that hey you know that sounds interesting hey i could do that okay and you could be planning a trip perhaps with friends this gives me um the idea of like looking at a world map and trying to figure out where do we want to go what do we want to do um so yeah for some of you you could be doing that as well okay going on a trip with friends and now we have justice justice what is justice about what is justice about it could be that you have to um, sign some new contracts um, in the new life or the new activities or the new hobbies that you do that you're going to take on you might have to sign a new contract or a new agreement maybe you're buying a new house because that old house doesn't work anymore perhaps you're buying a new house whatever it is if there's something to do with legality agreements contracts um, I would advise you to look closely at the fine print, really get to like an experienced lawyer to look at it so that you are not caught unawares. Okay, and look at this, you know, sometimes it is about the way you have to argue things out. White doesn't always win, black doesn't always lose. Um, it is about how you see things or how you perceive things or how you put the argument across so yeah if this has anything to do with your old life you know the dissolving of contracts agreements take a close close look okay take a close close look hmm okay i also let me get a couple more cards what does the justice card here mean for pal two what does the justice card mean for pal two please can we get some clarification please for the justice card okay so we've got the seven of pentacles and we have the hanged man take it slow yes so take it slow please if you have a contract agreement fine print anything which you have to sign your name to or that has punitive measures penalties take a good long look at it don't worry about the time that you're taking to really look it over or find somebody experienced to advise you on it take the time pause don't rush into anything okay all right so i have that for you and 
now I'm gonna look at your sacred self care oracle card dance. Yes, no more eight of swords energy, no more hemming and hawing, no more I'm afraid, I don't know what to do, I've never done this before. How do I know how to live alone? How do I know how to um, buy a new car? I don't know, I've never done this before. Don't worry about it, please. Just enjoy life. Take it on one step at a time, one day at a time, one thing at a time. Dance. When you fill your heart and your body with that kind of enthusiasm, with that kind of happiness, that joy viver, you're not going to be like, you know, bogged down. Then somehow, you know, ideas come more easily, imagination flows more easily, and creativity will help you out. So don't worry too much. Just let things come. Let ideas come, okay? Have faith, trust. Trust and believe in yourself and everything will fall into place. You already know you have the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles here awaiting you. Okay, so thank you so much for being here, Pal 2. If you've liked the reading, please give me a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe to the Three Lotus Tarot. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hello, Pal 3. Welcome to your reading. You chose the green treasure pot and the eight of wands now this eight of wands usually the eight of wands is all about speed and pace okay but this one it tells me that um you might be rushing into something that may not be the most pleasant the most calm or the most smooth situation okay because i see here um pile three that you know you're going from somewhere which is green and bright and you're crossing this line into an area that has rain clouds and lightning and you're rushing into it right like you're running into it with um with your wand there so for some reason pal three in january february 2024 this might be something you want to be careful about or that you want to be aware about before you go rushing into something or 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 you may have a situation where everything looks like it's good it looks like it makes sense it speaks to you i mean this is what the ones are telling me it speaks to you the new situation it speaks to you you know you like it i don't see what's wrong with it i think i have all that i need to know about this in this situation i can make a good decision it looks so good how could it be bad or the person looks so good how could they be bad it's either of course you know a, a person a situation a new habit uh, a new purchase sorry if i'm I don't sound well because uh, I, I am not, not well. Um, but I would caution you. Your spirit guides are cautioning you and I'm passing on that message. Don't rush into it. You definitely feel very confident about this decision of going into this new thing or trying it out or buying it or, you know, um, in welcoming this person on board to your team or into your life you don't see what could be um um perhaps a little bit thunderous about it you don't see what could not be good about it but your guides are advising you to just be careful don't rush into anything yeah okay i also just got this the the your green treasure pot green is the color of the heart chakra so if you feel if you feel that oh my gosh this is the best thing possible that could have happened to me oh my gosh you're the most wonderful person i would love to spend the rest of my life with you even if your heart says it so 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 clearly it's beating out this rhythm of this is the one this is the one you love this i love this i want this be careful 
okay so i've got these cards out for you already from your um from your deck the golden wheel tarot so i have not seen what cards they are but we will take a look at them and we also have the sacred oracle self-care card which i'll put off to this side so that we can get to it later okay so let's put the eight of wands here and see what cards come up for you five of wands okay the wheel of fortune the hierophant the two of wands again this this half sky yeah two of wands a decision the seven of swords ace of wheels or ace of pentacles death five of cups the knight of wands and the king of wands okay so let's take a look at this row first okay um i believe that yeah so there could be some difference of opinion some friction you know you might want to make a decision you have to make a decision i mean you have to make a decision that um that might be the following of this friction either this argument or this difference of opinion difference of um, priorities perhaps even okay you guys were friends before you guys worked together before i mean you were on one path before but then now because of this difference you might have to make a decision to break apart okay and and um, it will change a lot of things if you make this decision it could change a lot of things the wheel of fortune changes a lot of things death you know transforming the whole situation um perhaps you have to leave a a work um partnership or leave a job leave a marriage leave a roommate situation okay but there is a change wow it looks like for you know a lot of people there's a lot of change happening this year straight off the bat in the early times of the year so yeah i see changes happening i see changes happening changes um being heralded and um, and you have to make a decision um it's not the happiest decision or after you make that if you rush into it you could find out things that are different and they may not be like you know what you thought it was see there's the seven of swords and the five of cups so there may have been deceit there may have been trickery and that's um that's what will weigh a little bit on you yeah because maybe you rushed into a decision and then you realize that it was not all that it seemed and that could get you down could get you pretty down because i see four cups overturned here normally in the five of cups it's three cups overturned and two cups still standing up here there's only one cup that's still standing up but all is not lost because i do see you with that red ribbon holding that red ribbon so i think there's still that you know there's still lifeline um there is still of course um, every opportunity to come out of this okay um but yeah if you make this decision it is a big decision which uh, you are advised not to rush into okay it is a big decision that is going to change your world change the trajectory of your life with the wheel of fortune okay please do with the hierophant um pay close attention to what it is um, that surrounds that situation that surrounds that person that surrounds this decision that you feel you need to make pay close attention okay um 
check around check around be wise about it don't rush into things i keep hearing this like don't rush into things okay mm. you might think that it's going to bring you a new start you might think that it's going to bring you a new change new transformation that you're very happy about um but i do keep seeing you rushing into it knight of wands fastest moving knight um of the deck and the king of wands but you see the knight of wands normally in the classic deck it's facing this way right in this one it's facing this way so i have um i have this instinct to tell you that don't rush into it don't rush into it <laughs> be the king of wands be stable be um intelligent about it look at all aspects and be very clear about what you want be firm and um, don't let people um you know sway you too easily don't let people um sugarcoat things information so called facts okay you are the king of wands you're not sitting on this throne looking this way with that power scepter in your hand you're not there to be hoodwinked okay anybody who thinks that they can hoodwink you should take a step back right look at that you look so confident you look very sure of yourself so what you need to do now is take that surety to advise yourself to take the time to look at um this situation that's coming up in january february 2024 for you so you might be like i said already you might be feeling very very sure very very happy very very confident about this decision that you're going to make but this king of wands is telling me take that surety of your um capabilities of your intelligence to look around and do your due diligence check everything out uh, don't let that surety just be the surety of it's a good decision i'm going to do it no okay because it, as a king of wands even if your heart tells you yes this is great go for it do it um the king is going to look at every aspect in totality 360 degrees holistically he's not just going to depend on um one aspect of himself my heart tells me i want it i'm going to do it no he is you know nobody can pull one over him so don't let people um um don't let people shame you into taking a faster time into taking the decision come on it's such a clear a uh, winner i don't know why you're taking so long hey i thought that you know you're a very intelligent person who's great at taking opportunities when they come grabbing onto opportunities i don't know why you are acting so against the grain now you're taking so long you're becoming like an old fuddy duddy don't let anybody's words like that sway you okay this your your cards are very very clearly advising you against making um snap decisions uh against making impulsive decisions so you have to be careful you have to just you know use the faculties that you have as the king of wands to study what is happening around you what does this really mean what does this really mean what are the implications there could be other things uh, shady things things that are beneath the surface that you don't know about yet people are trying to perhaps make a quick buck so you don't want to be caught up in that so take the time to slowly understand become become almost like um a subject matter expert in that in that for that situation or that topic you know you've got to do enough due diligence you've got to do enough research analysis and truly understand what this situation and this decision is about become almost like that expert that guru about it 
then you make the decision because um yeah i don't think that um um if making that fast decision is the way to go you're truly truly advised because you will see stuff that you didn't know about you will see stuff that yeah, i didn't know about this and it could make a big big difference in your life okay and most of all of course i see this moving from a light cheery lively pace to a dark thunderous lightning filled area okay which may not uh i don't think any of us wants lightning in our in our lives right okay so now let's take a look at your secret self-care oracle card read yes do your research check it out internet talk to people talk to um advisors talk to consultants talk to people who know the business um really you must you must do this work that you have to do don't rush into things that's that's what i have to keep saying again and again uh pile three january february 2024 there is a decision that's coming to you that you feel that you're so enamored with you're so in love with you can't see anything that could go wrong with this if you bring it into your life but beware of people not giving you the full information you not understanding the full circumstance of the situation so you need to do your own homework and you need to stand strong in your right to take the time that you need to figure out if you really want to take this decision okay so pal three thank you very much for being here this has been your reading if you've liked it please give me a thumbs up comment share subscribe to the three lotus tarot until i see you in the next one guys Bye.